Hey guys. I spot a wild Frankfurt. Honey, I'm home. Sending flight level 90 if that's a 471. Speed Roger, no speed, thank you, Lufthansa 471. Sick. I'll I'll keep myself at 280 then. So flight level change, or as I like to call it, flitch, which really triggers people when I call it that. Yeah, flight level 90, we've got right no speed restriction. Keep it there. Oh, that's an aircraft. Who was that? That was uh, DAL4 Romeo Whiskey, I think, or potentially DL8. No, yeah, it was. DAL4 Romeo Whiskey. Can I see you waving? Yeah, man. Look at all of the aircraft you can see. So cool. Rip our frame rate. Rip our frame rate. Thank you, Lewis. I appreciate that, dude. <laughs> I've got Langan radar on. Look, I've got Langan radar on that spy. Yeah, I've got Langan. Look on Avlasov, look at all the traffic. <laughs> How cool is that? Right, about to go through 10,000 so the outboard lights can come on. We'll stick the wing and logo lights on as well. Hello Frankfurt! Oh my god, look at the traffic! They're doing 1 8 departures. That is so cool! I love that sim! There you go, Smoke Hill's got it. So we've just gone past Fox Shot, Fox Shot Mike, which is the Frankfurt VOR, and now we're turning left, basically dead east almost. Well, no, we were dead east, so. Yes. Direct Delta Foxtrot 636, that's what I'm talking about. I am going to bring my speed back, I think. If I bring that in. Just back to 240. Yes, we got we we got given no speed restrictions, Tom. He said to send flight level nine or zero, no speed restriction. And he's not told me off for being that fast now, so chill your beans. Good evening, one three two. How are you doing today? Uh, rip textures. <laughs> Sending flight level six zero. If that's a four seven one. Flight level change. Hang a hello, camera room 001. Any advice to learning how to fly in Vatsim? I actually did a video about it on my YouTube channel. Well, Hashtag so sell out. Yeah, I did a little video. There's loads of documents on the Vatsim website. Watching streamers like myself and anybody else who flies on Vatsim. Listening to real world ATC is good as well. Um, and yeah, my number one tip is yeah, when you get started, you have a pen and pad. I basically write down everything. Especially when I get my clearance, I genuinely, I genuinely cannot 
Let's under like like, like say how do. important it is to have a a, a, pan, a pen and pad in my opinion on that because you can just write things down to make sure that you don't forget them especially when you're old like me and your memory starts going yeah. Yeah, seven fours are fine to be a problem. Seven two nine Flaps up is like two sixty three. I've had sometimes. So, Delta Foxtrot 636. And we're basically on the downwind now. By the looks of things. Chewie's been naughty and not kept his heading matched up, so let's continue to do that. And again, if you don't know, the reason why we try and keep our heading matched up with where we're going is so that if the controller says hold your current heading then you can just do so straight away or if they tell you to turn left or right it means that you've got your kind of central point so it's easy for you to turn left or right so if they say i get it sometimes you know if that's a 471 turn left 10 degrees we you know that we're on 255 so that would obviously be 245 Let's just keep up to date with the wind. Q and H is still one zero two one. Wind still three sixty at six knots. So good. Seven hours and three minutes in the air. We've still got nineteen tons of fuel left. So I mean we're. One one eight five zero with call sign only for the Lufthansa of four seven one. Thanks very much. Enjoy the rest of the event. Uh, being director left, that's a 471. Roger, well, descending 4,000 feet with a QNH of 1021 and expecting 07 right, if that's a 471. So, 4,000, flight level change. Delta 4, contact Frankfurt Tower, 1090, happy landing, speed 170 knots, and the 5 So, 4,000, QNH 1021, so approach checklist. Roger, speed 170 knots, and the 5 DME. 1021 hectopascals, passing 6,000 feet. Thank you. Approach checklist complete. What a very happy welcome that was. Love it. Hey, Yun, how you doing, man? Yun, are you going to... I swear I asked you this the other day. I don't know if you if I did, but... Are you coming to Cosford? I'm assuming you are. Hey, Tactical Bacon. He is one motivated, motivated sounding ATC. I always get it. There's one guy on Munchen Radar, and he always says hello to everybody. He says, good evening. I can't do it justice, because he's amazing at it. But he does like the most kind, warming welcome <laughs> on a frequency. You are going awesome. No flow. I'll try my best, class region. Hey, doing SF, dude. Good to see you, man. I figured you would be, but I thought I'd ask anyway. Right, joystick this, joystick cam hype. Look at that traffic. I'm assuming they're on 07, they're on different runways, those guys. Look at all the traffic. Where's UPS 001 in amongst this chaos? He's there! Right, 270 degrees, if that's a 471. Heading select, 270. And look at the 471 speed, 227. Speed 220 knots, that's a 471. How's about that for timing? UPS 001 is miles away! <laughs> I don't know if he's coming straight in though. He may be coming straight in on 07 left. I. I. Pfft. No idea. I miss him already.
Is James the best Heathrow controller? No, Dave Potter is. Sorry, James. I would have said James, but he trolls me when I'm on frequency with him. And gives me weird-ass approaches to try and trip me up. I'm just going 2-2-2. Two, two, two because I get really eggy if I'm not bang on. Turn right, 0 4 zero degrees, clear for the RLS approach 0 7 right with no speed for left answer 4 7 1. Thank you. I'll take it! I've only ever had Matt as a controller once before. So, what's that gonna be? That's gonna be Rob, sir. That just gives me a good idea on how far out we are now. We may go through this localizer. I hope to God we don't. I don't think we will actually, but localizer. There we go. It's captured. So on the approach as well. Oh. Can I take flaps one? We've got no speed restriction, but I mean we're only 16 odd nautical miles out now, so we'll start to think about bringing our speed back. Oops, that's the wrong lights, Chewy. And because we're level now at 4,000 and below that glide slope, it means that we're going to be able to bring our speed back nicely. 07 right is identified. I'm visual with the runway. Oh, hello. Good evening to Lima uh, with two flight level 6, 6, Heading 068, that's identified. What's that? Go around. Heading to Lima. 5,000 for the go around. Turn left, heading to 5,000. Left heading to 5,000, heading to Actually. Look number 471, contact Frankfurt, frequency 1199, the internal 9er. Have a nice landing, bye bye. 1199 for Lufthansa 471, thanks very much for the great ATC, enjoy the rest of the event. Right, 1199, perfect, 12 nautical miles to run. Bye bye, thanks for flying. Brilliant. Glide slope should come in any second, we've just switched to flaps 5. 12 nautical miles to run. Good afternoon, Frankfurt Tower. If that's a 471 with you, we fully established runway 07 right, 11 nautical miles. 147 is our V approach. Number 2, if that's a 471. No sig, no significant change yet. You have a bad feeling about this landing. Well, that's not nice. How much reverse, re reserved? We only took two. I took exactly the amount of fuel that I would usually take. 747s land quite heavy. We're fine. I can see the aircraft in front. Can you see his strobe lights there? He's about seven nautical miles in front. So I'm going to take flaps 10. And then we'll bring our gear down soon. Let's just go back to 170 for now. Uh, excuse me. On um, the speed brakes, and then we'll get ready. Shit! No! No. Okay, right. What we will do is we'll take out the auto thrust. Right, we're going manual. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> we're, go we're going gear down. Flaps 20, and uh, we're completely manual, and we're doing a, a raw ILS approach now, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, it would only happen to me, wouldn't it? It would only happen to me. It's fine. We're good now. We're back on track. I must, I think I accidentally clicked Toga on my throttle quadrant. And so the throttles just decided to die.
That's what happened there. Luckily, I took everything out. Hey, I never claimed to be a professional pilot. Yeah, that was a that was an accidental Toga 10. That was so funny. It's fine, I've just switched to the VREF. I haven't done go around altitude, but I know it's 5,000. And we're good. Landing checklist. Uh, speed brakes are on, landing gear is down, flaps are 30, green light. We're absolutely fine. That was so funny. Yeah, apologies about the frames, guys. A little bit high, but late niche. Clear to land 07 right, the fancy 471. Continue. That lag spike. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. I swear we had that landing rate yesterday. Okay, I don't want full reverse. Idle reverse. Holy crap. And we're down. 70 knots. And we're going to get Mike 1 3 as well. Dear me, that was hectic. What the hell happened there? Terrible stuff by Tui. Terrible, terrible. Fine, 260 is alright. And there we go, guys. We're down. That was hella fun. Did I set the decision altitude? Yes, that's why we heard minimums. If that's a 471 vacating left on mic 13. Welcome down, everybody. 7 hours and 14 minutes. Welcome to 471. Welcome to Frankfurt. Taxi straight on via mic 14. Cross runway 7 center. On the other side, contact a friend on 121. That's no 75. Uh, straight ahead, Mike 14, crossing 07 center approved, and then over to apron 12175, lift that's a 471. Thank you very much for the ATC this evening. Just clean up a little bit. Holy crap. That wasn't too, like, the, the landing obviously wasn't the best, but that wasn't the worst I've ever done in the world. So this is Mike 14. Let's just start to clean up the aircraft a little bit. I'm good, we're leaving all the lights on. And there we go, we're down. Obviously, stroke still on because we're crossing the runway again. Yeah, so Chewie's tip of the day, boys and girls. Don't accidentally press toga when you're on final. Dearie me. Good fun, though. Kept us lively at the end, right? Kept us lively at the end. Right, 07 center. You can see the other aircraft coming in on 07 left there. There's a FedEx MD-11. Very good evening, Lufthansa Apron. Uh, sorry, Frankfurt Apron. Lufthansa 471 just vacated 07 Centre at Lima 9. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, one time for the apron and low attack speed right on Lima. Uh, uh, right on Lima. I love that's a 471. Love that. <laughs> 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 oh, I've lost it, haven't I, boys? It's too late. Wait, okay, isn't there another November aircraft? One, one, Lima, oh, no, Uchard, November 4th. United Man 6 United Man 6 thanks for April and hello to Taxi. November 1, 1, Lima, Uchard, November 4th. November 1, 1, Lima, Uchard, November 4th. So the 471 contact East April 121 that's where the letter 5, right? 121905, so the letter 5 is 471, thank you. Uh, wait, was that 121905? Let's have that Lima, Good evening, April. If that's a 471 with you on Lima, just short of November 4. Mm. I'm going very slowly here because I don't know if we're taking a left on November 4. Good evening, Charlie 15. Lima, November 3, November. Lima, November 3, November to uh, Charlie 15 for the fence of 471. Thank you very much. Alright, I know exactly where we're going. Cool, that was absolutely mental. I am so sorry about the the hiccups at the end. But Thank you very much. I hope uh, I hope it provided you guys with some entertainment. That's the most important thing. As long as it made you all laugh, that's the most important thing. And thank you very much to all of you for tuning in. That was such an amazing event. Very good fun indeed. Awesome ATC both at Toronto and at uh, and at Frankfurt as well. And we didn't have to hold. No holding whatsoever, which was awesome. Got a nice few directs near the end there. And they got us in nice and quickly, which is awesome. How you doing there, Rasmus? Good to see you. You're loving Final 7.3. Good stuff, man. Thank you very much for your kind words, dude. Enjoy the rest of your weekend as well. Yeah, that was, uh, was good fun. Thank you for tuning in, man. <laughs> hey, the APU. <laughs> I haven't done our after landing checklist, uh, but it's speed breakdown, exterior lights as required, weather radar is off, flaps are up, transponder XPDR and stab trims back to six units. Take off the inboard landing lights now, and here is our stand. Yeah, time for the return, boys. Cap it. How you doing there, Johnty? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I'd say this is worth watching back after Chewie's mess-ups. We always have somewhat interesting arrivals into Frankfurt. It can be wind shear, the weather. Pressing Toga went on final in the middle of an event. But hey, this is why this is the warm up event for CTP, right? Oh my god, Chewie Rudder. 
It's telling me to go to the right there, but that's not correct. We're bang on the line right now. Stop. Right. Parking brake. APU's available, so on goes the generators. And there we are. Just going to mute ATC for a second. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Frankfurt after seven hours and 44 minutes. That was awesome. Uh, take the beacon light off now. Seatbelt signs can go off. We've got the uh, uh, wheel chocks in, so that's good. And, uh, and then we can request the boarding. Have the door page on there. We'll just close everything else down like so. Get rid of all of that. I'll leave those like there for now. And then we can request the ground power. And uh, disarm the doors. Okay, very quickly, shut down checklist before we go and have another look outside. Uh, parking brake is set. Hydraulic demand pumps off. Fuel pumps off. Beacon off, doors to manual, fuel control switch is cut off, transponder standby 2000, seatbelt signs off, shutdown checklist complete, and Lufthansa 471 from Toronto to Frankfurt is also complete. Whoa, that was fun.